So I'm excited to finally be creating and to be creating in a space that feels good, that feels truly authentic. Okay, so in New York, because it's just super important to have a social life. I think the hardest thing for me as a founder has definitely been trying to maintain a social life, be a mom, do all of these things. So I have dedicated, you know, the rest of this year's weekend to really just living my life. Like I do a lot and, you know, sometimes I feel guilty about those things that I do. But just really trying to snap out of that and really realize that the more balanced I am, the more um, able I am to make decisions as a founder, as a mom, as a person, as a friend, and, and all of the things. So that's what we're doing this weekend, NYC. So the one thing I don't miss about pre-pandemic life is like how much makeup I wore. I think I'm totally adopting the no makeup situation um but lashes definitely definitely lashes um that's new <laughs> so i'm getting ready to go to my boss's birthday party at mr chow i've never been there before so that should be fun um yeah i went to a sample sale today um before checking into my hotel because i got here early um so, let me see, red. Anyway, so that's what I'm about to do now. And I will record as much of that as lipstick all over my teeth as possible. I got this cute dress from the sample, so you can't really see it. It's Mara Hoffman, bomb. But um, yeah, more to come later. So, you know, you go through 75 seasons in a day. I am going to find food because I'm starving. So, instead of eating, I'm actually shopping. So, I'm going to surprise, surprise Zara and in these New York streets. So, that's what we're doing right now. As my sister would say, women be shopping. We do, we do. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly talk about why I'm back on YouTube. First of all, I love YouTube. It, it's just a huge commitment. Um, it's a huge commitment for me, um, but there are two things that I really want to dig into on this channel, and the first is being a black founder. Um, I have just learned so much information. Um, you've seen, if, if you follow my Instagram, just like our, our company has landed $100,000 in funding. Um, I'm in so many groups where I'm just connected, social capital, like the social capital of it all, with so many people to go through so many doors that I just don't feel like it's common knowledge for black founders. So there's really an emphasis on being a black founder, how to support and encourage other people to take this route um, and do it with a, a lot less friction than I have. So it's really me sharing everything that I've done. And then there's this other element of like really getting back to be get, being creative. 
Um, I love everything, all things creative. Um, my whole life, people have tried to get me to focus on one thing and do this one thing, but I just have always believed that the, the, the multi-dimensional aspect of the person is just the most dynamic part, right? And then how to marry those things together though is so freaking hard. Um, and so being a creative and now, you know, being a founder, an entrepreneur, a mom, all of these things, um, I feel like at this point in my life, I'm at a great place to just share. I know so many amazing other uh, people who I've met along this journey that I want to talk to, that I want you guys to know. Um, and this is just like my video diary. There, I have no expectation for this, uh, these, this content on this channel. It's really just me being able to create something for my kids to look back at, for me to look back at, and really just document this period of time because it's going to be it has already been um probably the best time of my life um the most growing growth spurt <laughs> time of my adult life um and i want to share how i've grown in in ways that you know may help or resonate with other people especially in entrepreneurship and in the creative world so um yeah that's why we're doing this that's why i'm doing this i say we because i feel like we fam um whoever's watching this and it's just a little docu-series of of what's going on so i'm excited to finally be creating and to be creating in a space that feels good that feels truly authentic um and yeah so this weekend at nyc you'll get to know a little bit about how i work um both on my company and as a contractor i work for bet so I'm just showing you glimpses of how you can manage and balance and, and do all of these things because particularly as a black founder, our route is much harder, but there, I'm not, you know, anything special. Uh, and there are plenty of amazing people I'm sure out there watching with big goals like I have. And um, I wanna at least remove the friction that I've experienced by passing on information, passing on what I've learned um, to all of you. So I'm dumb excited to be, um, and hungry um, to be back at YouTube uh, doing YouTube in this crazy YouTube universe but we're doing it and it's gonna be great I'm um, great oh so dark hi say hi what's up where are we going for brunch um a place called smile or right. simile but I think it's smile though Good morning. So, first day I'm going into BET's office and I'm going to take you guys with me. Good morning, my neighbors. No kidding. I am an extreme morning person. I love the morning. Morning is my prime time. And you know, it is what it is. My junky room, don't mind that. But what I typically do or try to do every morning is knock out everything related to Co-Tripper, related to my company, handle any emails or things that might be pending because my day for BET starts at 10 o'clock. And so that is a plus. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a true struggle um, to figure out how to balance you know, having a, a, a real job, a full-time contract role, and um, running my business, but it's possible because I'm doing it. And you pretty much learn as you go. So there's no wrong or right way to do it. So it is what it is.
right, check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Boarding on track two, both east and west gates is the New Jersey Transit, 7.24 p.m.